Warning, this game contains jump scares, loud sounds, blood, and violence. For a better experience, use headphones, turn the volume up, adjust the game settings as desired, play in the dark, play alone, focus on the story. Hello everyone, my name is Hunter's World Gaming. Welcome to Let's Play Leave Me Alone by no other than Noxus Game Studio, powered by Diego Victor. This game is a brand new one of 2024, and I'm sure I'm really looking forward to playing this since you know Abyss Hot definitely played this game as well. Just like how he and I actually got done with Midnight Custody. If you haven't checked out Midnight Custody, I suggest you do. It's a, a lot of fun, you know? So anyway, let's go, leave me alone. Been playing a lot of those good old horror games by Noxus Studio. WHD to walk, shift to run, control to, I mean, E to switch camera. E or the lap mouse button to interact, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay. All right, now I can actually switch myself by pressing C. How cool is that? And there's a cinematic version if you press C. Look at that. There is a door. Okay, E to interact. Okay. Oh, whoa. Um, I can't press C to interact. Oh, there's a killer behind you. Who's that? Who the fuck is that? Leave me alone. Okay. Oh, what? That was my nightmare? I woke up at 10 a.m. Oh, that was way too late for me. I don't actually, I don't actually get up at around 10. To meet up with Noah and go camping. Jackson Foster. I need to grab the backpack and, as a precaution, a lighter, in case we decide to make a campfire. Grab the backpack and a lighter. Retrieve your backpack and a lighter. Uh, all right. Oh, whoa. I'm not even moving around anymore. Look at this. What the fuck? Okay, then. Uh, what the hell has happened here, guys? Okay, let me check this door. Oh, there's a backpack. Okay. And. Okay, it looks like I have to go this way. Maybe I could try this one. Maybe there's a lighter around here. This is a bathroom. Nothing useful here. All right, so I guess I have to go this way. There was the other door, like this. That's the remote end. What is that? Oh my God, look at the, are those music CDs? Wow, it must be good. Okay. Okay, the lighter must be in here, I guess. There's a, oh, wait, that's a knife. Yep, there it is. Leave the house, you don't say, all right. Now, let's get out of this house, guys. All right. Now, the lighter was in the kitchen, and the backpack was in the living room right next to the TV. Noxus Escape Studios presents Lay Me Alone! Rock and roll music from the 1980s! I, you don't say my bros ever dance! Wow, that sure was epic. The best epic intro ever. Hey Noah, excited for this adventure in the forest. Absolutely Jackson, this getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Totally agree. Hey, I heard this forest has strange stories. Legends of things that roam at night. Huh. You know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. I hope you're right. But seriously, what would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Ha <laughs> ha! Man, if I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. All right, let's make the most of the night, my pros. Okay. Oh, and that's the killer's vehicle. 
That must be the ambulance! That doesn't look like the ambulance because of the back doors on the back of that vehicle. Yeah, that's supposed to be the Slash's truck. Holy shit. I think there was, they, he's following us right now. To the Whispering Woods. Oh, is that where we are? Just like how Crystal Camp Crystal Lake was with Jason Voorhees. Now, Whispering Woods could be something else. Am I right? All right, then. Let's find out. Finally, we've arrived. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? You set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? All right. I'll start setting up the tent. All right, then. Okay. Well, okay. Set up the tent. Where could the best place up? Okay. Maybe I got the tent with me. Uh, how about, uh, like, here? Retrieve the backpack from the car. Okay, then. Maybe there's a backpack in the car. Maybe I can get that out. Maybe here? No, let's go all the way back. Um... Where is my backpack? If I do have the inventory... Retrieve the backpack from the car. Okay, that's where I need to go? Maybe it's in the back of the trunk, isn't it? Yes. All right. Now I think that I thought that was in the back seat or so. Retrieve the lantern from the car. That's also in the back of the car. So let me get that out and we can start our camp. There we go. All right. Explore the map and wait for Noah. Let's go this way. All right, we can explore the map. It's like free roaming game right there. And I don't actually blame for all of you people that are watching this. It's so cool, just like how Nox's Game Studio actually likes to do a lot. Why not? A graveyard? Yeah, a graveyard, you know what I'm saying? What is all these people that died here? And there's a note. Okay, newspaper page found. Title Macabre Discovery in the Spring Woods. Cemetery. Wait. No, it's back. Return to the tent. Not until I read this. Okay, date September 19, 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods forest was once again disrupted by the sinister discovery when the body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who free frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed by the disturbing event. Details are still scarce, but initial reports indicate that the passerby discovered the body during the morning walk through the cemetery. Authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting uh, a through investigation to determine the victim's identity as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily corded off as investigators seek evidences and clarification on the incident. So far, there is no information on, on eyewitnesses or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease Re reigniting old rumors and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authority authorities are appealing for community collaboration, urging everyone, anyone to, with relevant information to come forward to assist in solving this dark mystery. Uh, the investigation is, uh, is ongoing and updates will be provided as more information emerges. Hmm, all right. That's how these people died. By this killer of the Whispering Woods. All right then, I'm have, gonna have to go the other way now, probably. And this is the house? Yeah, this is probably the house. Maybe I can go in to see what it says all about? No? Okay, you can't go through the house, that's odd. All right, then. I can actually follow the trail all the way back to where Noah is waiting for us. So anyway, let's... Come on. There. All right. There. There. All right. I'm not using my mouse, although... God damn. You, like, press A and D to move 
to like look from left to right. Good. That's a bit easier, just like with I Can't Escape. That old horror game like from 2013 or so. All right then. Hey Jackson, I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. All right, sure, it's getting late. Hey, you know, hey. Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? I brought a lighter. It's in the car. I'll go get it. All right, let's get it also for the back of the car. Oh, I can see the moonlight from here. Can you see it, guys? The moonlight. The music box in the background. Wow, very scary. All right, the lighter. Right here in my hand. All right. Man, nothing like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. I agree, Mom. Sometimes, it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. So speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? The Silent hmm. Trail oh, Ghost? What's that story? They say, many years ago, a lone traveller got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen again. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained, but there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? Sometimes, imagination plays tricks on us, but hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. I agree, man. No legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. Man, silent trail ghosts. Long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours. <laughs> this is cool. Noah, it's very late and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep too. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted too, boy. All right. Good night, Noah. Good night, Man, I'm tired, you know. Been a lot of hours since we last talked in the campfire, I presume. A few hours later. Hmm. What was that? Oh, I'd better wake up Noah. <gasps> what the hell? No, he's in here. What is he? No, Noah! No! Oh! Okay, I have to pick up the lamp. Okay. Where was the lamp? Oh! It's right in my head! <laughs> okay, I think he probably went to that house. Maybe I can find Noah from there! Probably he's in that house to where I was. Maybe that would have been a lot more easier than I really thought. So yeah, let's go this way. Um, This game is sure just like... Friday the 13th, whenever he, you're at the Camp Crystal Lake, and they probably know it went actually went here, didn't he? No. I'm gonna have to check the other side. Yeah, that's an invisible barrier. Well, shit, guys! Alright then. Now I have to go to the other way, which I've never been on there yet. So, we're gonna have to, uh, like, yep. There's a trail, because if I got into the, uh, the grass. That'll be the invisible barrier, just like followed by the trees. So this is the other way I can really go, which is here. So let's go all the way down here. By the way, you're not even running out of breath, which is good. You can really long for as long as you like. So that, that way it might be a bit easier to outrun this killer whenever he sees you. All right then. Okay, here we are again with this cutscene. All right. Oh wow, what the fuck? Are we in the fields? Yeah. Okay, let's go in the fields, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think this is the only house that Noah just vanished into, so we're gonna might as well check this one out. What does it say? With blood, good night. Who said? What is this? It's locked. It didn't say that. Only said it silently. 
All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can get in here. All right. All right, then. All right. There's actually a note on the ground. Okay. Mystery and Whispering Woods Forest. January 27, 1983. In the shocking turn of events, the serene Whispering Woods Forest, known for its tranquility, has become the stage for a mysterious incident. Authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence to suggesting the possible murder deep within the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate that the incident occurred during the night, adding a layer of mystery to the occurrence. Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible perpetrator, keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shock and concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident contributing to the enigma surrounding the event. Authorities are appealing to anyone with relevant information or who may have noticed suspicious activities in the Whispering Woods area to come, come forward immediately. The investigation continues and more details will be released as information becomes available. Okay. Let me check this door. Yep. All right. Okay. Can I go to the next room? Oh, wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? All these trash here. Oh, wait a back here. That was my mistake. Wait. I cannot go to that door. All right. I can go only to this door. All right. Is this the living room? Oh, my God. This is just like Power Drill Massacre. Because this place is like so messy here. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, my God. That's not Jason. Oh. Ah! Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, where? 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 Where am I? Oh! Oh, 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 okay. Okay, that's a kitchen! That's a fucking kitchen! Oh. Where am I? What the? Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Okay. Now. Oh. But I have to make my escape. There it is. No, I think I know. I know where to go. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. There's something else. Yes. Oh. I did not even got any damages. Oh. Fuck my life. Ah! Oh. I died. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, okay. Now, I think I need a... Holy shit, what was that? Okay then, maybe I could check this room. Yeah, this kitchen seems so messed up, guys. Okay. Maybe. If I do, like, open this door... Yeah, there's a jump scare. Oh my god, Brandon is dead. What the fuck? Oh my god, this cutscene. This killer. This fucking killer, my bros. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, very good, very good. Now I think I'm not gonna even gonna die. Now, let's juke past this guy. Okay, finally, I think we're getting some good stuff here. Back to the truck. Yeah, I still back to the truck. It's right, right now, everyone. Okay. Oh my god, this cinematic, cinematic version of this. Gonna have to turn it back on. Okay, back to the car, back to the car, back to the car, back to the car. Oh, 
Oh, wait, there's something else down there. I need to go there. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, ow! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the truck hit me. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, okay. Let's give this a one more try then. Hopefully that'll be good. Okay, this cutscene one more time. And I need to go to the other way. That's where I can get to the house. Okay. Huh. All right. Hey, four. Yes. Oh. Okay. Now we need to get back on the trail. Yes, let this music, ominous music, play. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot right now, my bros and brunettes. Okay, let me turn this thing back on. Nope. All right. All right. Still got my lantern with me, but I'm going to turn it off for now. Anyway, let me turn on my lantern. Let me go the other way this time. That'll give me a lot more attention to where I'm going. Okay. Okay, I think I kind of lost him now because the om ominous music is not even playing anymore. I think it stopped, actually. Okay, I think I assume I can go to this house. I think that's right. I need to go there, so that way we can actually enter the madness. Okay. Oh my god, I do not like this. This is already just like from the beginning, isn't it? Oh god. Oh god. No, this is already the events of the beginning right now, guys. What the fuck? Oh my god, the same cutscene. Holy shit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my god! Holy shit! This was so fucking amazing! Leave me alone! Developed by Diego Victor! Okay. Thanks for playing, Press Face Escape Mustache Cat! I don't remember Mustache Cat! Alright, guys, so that was Leave Me Alone. Very good indie horror game of 2024 by Noxus Game Studio. Very good, very good, just like Friday the 13th ever was. And if you all enjoyed this incredible video right now, make sure to just give us your thumbs up if you haven't already. Stay total sun cooler and be ready for the real action. As always, guys, I will see you very, very, very soon. Bye-bye!